let's start doing 100 push-ups every day for the upcoming 30 days with the goal of getting stronger especially mentally stronger you'll see how much it takes to push your, to push yourself i'll see how much it takes to push myself as well um, you want to try to do them in as few sets as possible try to go up every week for five reps as you see i'm at, I'm at the park uh, let's start this Rage on that beat, going crazy. cracking for the last 10 days 10 that's dutch 10 days and um, i'll see you in the next ones peace and yeah i still train Day 21, uh, not feeling the best today, uh, so these push-ups will work to blow off some steam. Uh, anyway, let's keep it going. On day 21, the weather changed drastically. With fewer sun hours, I immediately felt the difference in my body. You also hear the wind in these clips because the weather was changing so hard and as a black man, yeah, I need some sun. So now, it's exactly, exactly 5 days or 7 days, man, my, my counting is like messed up today. <laughs> 7 days, 7 days left. A week left doing this challenge. Day 23. Let's get it. Let's get it again. I feel a bit sore, but let's get the rest done. From the moment my rep count went up, my reps were getting slower and slower and slower and heavier. But still, I kept pushing. I kept pushing, yeah. I kept pushing.
day 27, almost at the end. Welcome back, day 29. One of the last days, uh, feeling strong, um, feeling recovered. Let's see how these, these reps will be. Uh, thanks for staying in there, thanks for pushing. If you're pushing yourself, if you're uh, on this challenge, big up to you. done struggle to the reps we're in the cleanest but day 29 we're here welcome back last day of the challenge day 30 today i'm feeling very sore uh, let's get it for the last day and after this you'll get an update on what this challenge this challenge did for me uh, last reps incoming Let's see how it goes. That's last 25 finished finished so actually we did anyone who did that this uh, was doing 3000 reps in 30 days on the push-ups next to your workout or if it was your workout well done i see you in other videos peace welcome to this part of the video now i'm gonna talk to you and let you know what my opinions are what i experienced in these 30 days it's now one or two weeks since i completed this challenge and i must say i'm surprised by some things and not so much by other things i'm going to explain them all in this video first of all i must say i won't do this every day for the rest of my life i will do them but i think in another form I will do them more separately i'll maybe do them uh, once every other day uh, or not once like every other day and uh, maybe even boost up my reps because i feel i can handle some vo volume uh, when i do eat properly do rest properly so that's possible possible for me and i think i will do that i, I already started in uh, some kind of way but uh, that's one thing I will definitely do after this challenge. I noticed a big spike up in my rep count because of the mental barrier. I pushed it further. At first I thought maybe 50 reps, it would be just good and cool. Like, you know, simple. You can, I can achieve that like easily. But now I pushed it further and further and further um, with struggle, as you've seen, if you followed the challenge but I still managed to do it. Um, but the main thing is that I pushed my mental limit or my mental barrier, I pushed it further. So that's one big gain I got from this challenge. Now I'm going to tell you three things I really noticed and I really want you to do if you're going to do something similar like this. One is eat enough calories because as you see, I'm already like quite slim built I burn a lot of calories easily but even when I did the but when I did the 100 reps every day I was like yo I need to eat like crazy it was crazy the amount I had to eat um, I think I maybe uh, got up to like 400 calories more 
um, because I ate some crappy foods I eat like peanut sugar bars because those were the mo most accessible and the most easily available uh, high calorie snacks for me and I was eating with them like crazy the second one is counterbalancing the reps with rows and mobility work because if you do a lot of pushing 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 I felt it in my shoulders in the on the inside of my shoulders so I had to dial that back with mobility work every day as well so it was not only the push-ups mobility work and I did mostly uh, uh, like four times in the week I did inverted rows for my back and my shoulders of course my shoulders to protect them and the third thing is do varieties of movements I only to be honest with you I did like four times out of the whole 30 days I did like diamond like close push-ups but I needed to uh, vary my my choices of hand placement um, because I felt every time I went closer or every time I did something like another push movement because I still did train the whole 30 days if I did some other push movement it felt like a lot better on my shoulders than just doing the regular uh, stance for my body it's my body you know the regular stance for your body or grip will maybe vary but in my opinion how it went for me you should vary the grip width and uh, maybe even like the uh, the height like doing the incline that's one thing I did I did do I did them incline on push-ups but push-up bars some days but add some variety to your reps also I'm going to show you three things I gained from this challenge one is muscle I did gain muscle I've seen it in my videos um, I didn't go on the on the weight scale to see how much I weigh uh, but I did see it on my pictures because I took some pictures uh, like stills from my videos I seen it over there and I feel it in my my uh, everyday clothes they fit a little snugger around my my arms so yeah that's muscle that's the first one the second one is I now understand how my body re reacts to push-ups so I already told you like quite a bit I needed to vary my hand placement because my shoulders I actually I actually thought my shoulders and my whole body was going to be sore like this whole challenge but it didn't it didn't so I now know how my body reacts to doing push movement every day because back in the day not even that far away but I used to really not like pushing movements because my sternum would hurt, my shoulders would hurt. It, it was, I'd rather be doing a lot more pull, uh, pulling volume uh, than pushing volume. But now I'm kind of like, kind of like cured from that uh, mental barrier. The last thing, the third thing is in the challenge, I felt some uh, fatigue build up in my muscles but when I when I was done like the first three days I was like bro what happened what happened <laughs> it was crazy the the on my chest it was like Phew. it was burning 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 and I stopped doing not doing any pushing movement at all I did still uh, move my body I still trained uh, lower body and pulling movements but no pushes it was crazy sore, crazy sore. But um, now I'm, uh, I'm one or two weeks uh, done with the challenge and I feel great again. I feel strong again, recovered again. So this challenge, I recommend it to you if you're a starter. I recommend it to you when you uh, want to push your, uh, your pushing strength, your push-up strength a little further than what you already have right now. But it was a great challenge it was a mental challenge as I t already told you my mental barriers have been lifted up it's not over here they're now up there and they could even be much much higher much higher uh, because it's a never-ending journey um, with movement and training thanks for watching this video uh, stay tuned I hope you enjoy this kind of videos because I like to do it I like the, to do the challenge. Shout out to everybody who did the challenge. Big shout out to you. And I see you or you see me in the next videos.
peace.